dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But, in order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrila. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan. Fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield, or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. into the Ringali Nebula. Squadron, on me. We're approaching the junkyard now. This isn't just a junkyard, Valka. It's an Imperial graveyard. How many different destroyers do you think they left out here? And what did the Republic do to their crews? Doesn't matter. We can't change what happened. All we can do now is deliver vengeance. Before we're done today, this will be a rebel graveyard, too. Overseer, we've reached the target destination. The enemy is advancing as expected. You have time to prepare our trap. Copy that. Let's find those reactor cores. Remember, only active cores are explosive. And the rest are useless duds. Understood. That core isn't active, so it's useless to us. Destroy it and move on. Exactly, are we rigging these cores to explode? We're not. The active cores are volatile. It only takes a few shots to detonate them. So the rebels inadvertently created their own minefield. I love it. Inactive. That's it. Fire on the cores when the rebel ships are nearby. Proximity sensors on active cores will alert us to enemies in range of our explosives. If you hear the alarm, a ship is inside the kill zone. That's when we attack the cores and detonate. The 
will do nicely. Is it done? Enemy fighters have arrived. Hunt them down.
next time. Seems they've locked on. Titan 3, follow me. These fools, they underestimate Imperial superiority. Superior strength, superior ingenuity. True, but you're not fools. The Starhawk couldn't cross this field without knowing what it was flying into. If the New Republic is willing to sacrifice this much, what does that tell you about the value of the Starhawk? They're going to be devastated when we destroy it. You're safe. I didn't need your help. Enemy fighter has a lock. Jabes and his wretched Starhawk will die. 